How you doing, friends? Jay Tut here on Fremont Street, out in front of the D. Here's what's happening this week in gambling. Hello, friends, and welcome to This Week in Gambling. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, I know, it's early, but... I'm going to be taking the next two weeks off, traveling on business, and then spending time with family over the holidays. And apparently, about 35,000 Las Vegas employees are going to be taking some time off too. Despite rumors that an agreement had been reached, union workers are now set to walk off their jobs all across the city on November 10th at 5 a.m., drastically impacting these 18 Las Vegas resorts. And the timing could not be worse, or better, depending on which side of this argument you come down on. When news of this strike first broke, we, like most media outlets, strongly suspected that the union was attempting to leverage the upcoming Las Vegas Grand Prix. And that's exactly what they're doing now threatening to walk off the job just six days before the race begins and throw the city into utter chaos. Not just any chaos, utter chaos. Over 100,000 people are expected to attend this race, and now the union is asking those people not to cross their picket lines at any of these resorts. However, Given how long people have been looking forward to this event and how much money they had to shell out to get there, I think that might be asking a bit too much even if folks are empathetic with their position. If you are headed to Las Vegas for the big F1 race, there's going to be a lot going on that week, and our friends at Casino City Times can help you stay informed with stories like these on the F1 Entertainment lineup. Plus, they have updates on legal action from the Caesars and MGM cyber attacks a few weeks ago. Just visit CasinoCityTimes.com to keep up with all things gambling, and they even have a newsletter you can sign up for. Finally, this week, some updates on sports betting across the country. First up, the state of Maine, where sports betting just launched a few days ago. However, state residents will not be able to bet on professional sports teams located within Maine, because there are none. Next up, it's ESPN Bet, which is set to launch on November 14th in these 17 states, just in time for some Thanksgiving football. Many industry experts also believe that ESPN Bet will eventually surpass both FanDuel and DraftKings as America's number one sports book. And fresh off their Supreme Court victory, the Seminoles say they will relaunch sports betting in Florida sometime in December, which should make for a very Merry Christmas in the Sunshine State. Remember, I'm off for the next two weeks, but I'll be back on November 28th, just in time for the grand opening of Fountain Blue Las Vegas. Cranberries from a can? 